Hi uh, guys, this video goes out to uh, Chris Cornell, and uh, just to get you started on playing uh, some blues licks, uh, we've got uh, the E minor pentatonic scale down here, right? <laughs> Right up here is the 12th fret, right? So uh, what I'd like to do is just start with some real basic, basic, basic blues licks, okay? Uh, the first thing you got to learn is that uh, when you play an electric guitar, most of these licks that these guys play in blues, like, you know, uh, have an origin. And a lot of these licks have a common origin. And that origin, believe it or not, is Delta Blues. And Delta Blues has a, a very uh, simple style of playing lead. And so there's a lot of things that happen with Delta Blues. Uh, one thing that hardly anybody knows about, which I've studied and I've read for years and years, is that back in the 1900s and 1920s, when these guys were starting out playing Delta Blues guitar, they had acoustics. They didn't have electrics. And they invented this guitar called the 12 string guitar because it was louder and it could keep up with the piano. Piano players are always clobbering the guitar players for volume in general. So they came out with this 12 string guitar. And the 12 string guitar, of course, as you know, has pairs of strings, and the top two strings are not octave doubles, they're unison doubles. So the unison sound became part of that 12 string guitar that. And then, the unison sound of a 12 string, right? So, a lot of these guys who played Delta Blues back then, they were really just poor old black guys or poor young black guys in the South. And they didn't have the money to buy a 12 string, so they had six string guitars. So, they tried to emulate the sound of the 12 string that they heard by doubling notes in unison, like this. So one of the very first things that they did was they doubled the notes in unison on this pentatonic scale. Like, here's the scale. So they'd take this note, and the open B string, and add the E string on top. So you'd, you've got doubled notes with an added E on top. So here how it, here's how it sounds in Delta styles. Like. So that's the first lick. You want to go slide from the second fret, second fret to the fourth fret, and then hit three strings like this. Lick number one. All just downstrokes, simple downstrokes. Then what you can do is you can uh, play them the notes individually after that. The second lick is. So you're hitting third string, second string, fifth string.
so what I'm doing there is I, I extend that first lick and we're just going like this. B7, an A7, back to this delta lick. the first kind of steps you want to take to learning blues licks just take this little pattern here and work out lots of stuff there you want to... now the next step after that is you can play the notes individually that's like more moving into a Johnny Winter so hitting the third string sliding up from the second to the fourth fret and then with another downstroke, you hit the open B string, and then with an upstroke, you hit the E string, and then you put your middle finger on the B string on the on the third fret on the note D, and you pull off to the open B string. So the mechanics are: move the second up to the fourth, open B and open E, index on the note D on the second string, pull off. Slide up, open B, and open E. Pull off. Now then you extend it by doing the E string as well. So that lick is like this. So two to four, open B, open E, pull off the third fret to the open string on the B string, pull off the third fret to the open string on the E string, open B, open E, and again a secondary pull off from the third fret to the open B string. So you're pulling off, so you're going... Video. All right. Over and out for now.